uh, the legislator. No one. Too funny. Lane Higgs had the great opportunity of a lifetime five minutes ago. Go on my Facebook, you'll see the video. Anyway. Lane Higgs. It's funny, I was heading here to do a video and I bumped into it. But anyway, Lane Higgs is showing that really he doesn't care or give a rat ass about New Brunswickers. He has to, sm to smart the hell up. Smell the hell up, can you imagine? Have another coffee, Charles. Mary Wilson, the minister that's in charge of the rental man service New Brunswick. I sent her an email for a rant. Twice she told me no. So what we have, I gotta find out is it Mar is it Mary Wilson or Mari Wilson? Or Mari Antoinette. Let them eat cake. You have people that's being evicted on the street. A lot of people. But nobody gives a rat ass. So what's gonna happen? This is how we got into, this is where we got into this by so much hate here in New Brunswick and in Canada because of the vaccine and the pro-vaccine and the against the vaccine and all that. But the government has got to start to listen to the people. They have to start. So, since the government and Blaine Hicks is saying people are evicted, these are not because of crystal meth, this is not because they refuse to pay the rent, this is not because they're alcoholic, this is not because they have mental issues, this is because they have no money. They have no money. And Blaine Hicks, the government, with the bureaucrats of social development, are encouraging Blaine Hicks to keep his stand against New Brunswickers because social development want the seniors to die. And what better way to die when you got no food because they force them to take their pension, they're not allowed to have one cent, and they starve to death. These people have got to have protection. Protection. What is protection? Rent control. Rent control. They can't just invent people. Now, if you happen to be gay, okay, you could go to Human Rights Commission. You're a per person of color, go to Human Rights Commission. But the ordinary so-called person has no protection whatsoever. So this is what has to happen. People are going to be evicted more and more in weeks to, to come. Spring is around the corner. Anywhere, anyone that got no word to go, got, you know, like... The government said, oh, you got nowhere to go. Go to the tiny homes where Marcel Lebrun is building 96 tiny homes, should be 100, 96 for the, the homeless people on the street. I've been in one of those tiny homes. How the hell can somebody that used to live in an apartment live in a tiny home? That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. And the other thing was what? Uh, they, what what's the other thing? Put a complaint somewhere else. But anyway, what they have to do, they got to start to set up tents on the front lawn of the legislator. But you mustn't be afraid. I was one of the last protesters to stay in a tent for six months. People that came afterward, that were intimidated by the sergeant at arm. Oh, Daniel Bussia, we miss you so much. Je t'aime, Daniel. Je t'aime mon cassé. The good old days. You, Daniel Bussia, that had the power of the Ferdinand police. The Ferdinand police were making six, 60 bucks an hour. So he would, there would, they would follow his every command to work overtime. Now. We've got a new sergeant at arm, Jay Cote, very smart because he always ignores me. Anyone that ignores me is smart. The stupid one come after me. Fred Wazo, can you say that? And anyway, focus trust. If you set up a tent and then 
there's no more Fredericton police, they got sheriff. But then they will call the police and they will tell you it's against the law to set up a tent in front of the legislator. It's against the law. Well, you will tell them you take the law and shove it up your arse. I got nowhere to go, so therefore the government doesn't want to listen. Mari Antoinette, I mean, Mari Wilson refused to protect all citizens that's forced on the street. Therefore, arrest me. And then, of course, you go to court, then we have, uh, what's his name again? Oh yeah, Cameron Gunn. Cameron Gunn. You see, this is why the citizen needs to have a say on who is appointed judges. judge. Cameron Gunn is a known fascist. And he's the man that's against the fortunate. I have the proof. I'm not just saying that right there. I'll go to, and I'll go to that issue in details in future weeks ahead. But the bottom line here, you have a government and the minister, Marie, Marie Wilson, Marie Antoinette, that won't help the people. So this is where this all started. People are full of hate because the government won't listen. Clear cutting, they won't listen. Spraying, they won't listen. Other issues, they won't listen. But they'll listen to the Irvings. So if you're evicted, start tenting in front of the legislator. They don't call it the people's house for nothing.